In a previous video, I reviewed the Stalink keyboard maps, what they are, and how to add them to your server. If you need that information, go ahead and click the link to that video below in the description of this video. Now, in that video, I added a Scion Omni XT15 keyboard map. Now, if I open that up, you'll see it just has a list of modifiers the actual keys, and then these six-digit key codes, as well as the mnemonics that may or may not be assigned to each of those keys. Now, when we build these keyboard maps here at StayLinked, we make assumptions about the type of functionality you're looking to get out of each key press with your session. But if you ever need to modify something or to add a key, you're going to need access to those six-digit key codes generated by your device's key press. In order to get that information, you need to go into the Staylink software on your device. So what I'll do is close this, go into my connections list, and I'll remote control an XT15. So that way you can see the screen as I do this. There it is. Now this device isn't currently running in full screen mode which is why I have access to this file host and tools menu on the screen. If you don't have access to that, it probably means you're in full screen mode. So go ahead and turn that off and you'll have access to that. Once you've got access, go ahead and click on tools and key test. And it brings up a little applet window. Now, whenever I press a key like enter on my device, it will give me all the information that Staylinked is recording about that key press. And the magic information that we need for what we're doing is the six digit key code that's generated in the Staylink software. That's what you're going to use when you adjust your keyboard maps. If you have any questions about the information we've gone over in this video, or you have any questions at all about the Staylink software, please feel free to contact our technical support team at 714-918-7817 or you can reach us by email at support at stay-linked.com.